Hello, my name is Nathan. Welcome to People in Perspective. Today, joining me on the show is George Arias. Thank you for having me. So, first of all, I'm going to start by asking you about your childhood. How was it? My childhood was actually pretty good. I was raised by my mother, and I was raised um, with three of my brothers, and uh, she was single, and she did a pretty good job. She actually, always, most of her life, she actually worked two jobs. And uh, at the end, she ended up getting her own business, opening up her own business. And she helped every single one of my brothers and myself open up our own business, too. So right now, to this day, we still own a business, me and my three brothers. Each one of us owns a different kind okay. of business. Okay. Let's talk about school. How was school for you? School was good, too. I actually ended up going to uh, Lane Tech on uh, the north side of Chicago. That's one of the best schools in Chicago. It was a very good you know, school. Then I went to a trade school called Westwood College. I went there for a year, and then I started working. All right. What was your first job? My first job as a teenager, I was 15 years old. I started working at a, at a flea market, by a flea market by the Division of Cicero. It's actually, um, it's, uh, I was selling uh, sounds, so speakers, uh, amplifiers, car sounds. That's basically, I worked there for two years. And then I uh, ended up opening up uh, my own booth, actually selling video game stuff, video games, systems, and so on. And did you enjoy that job? Yeah, it was actually a uh, pretty good job. And um, to this day, actually, that's what I, I still sell some of that stuff, right. too. So. Let's talk yes. about your current jobs. My current jobs, uh, well, I have the flea market booth. I have uh, yeah. selling video games and accessories and all that. And I also sell on Amazon uh, as a third-party seller, which that's actually um, pretty good. It's, it's um, a buy and resell stuff, basically. I look for great deals and flip it on Amazon. And what, what made you start selling on Amazon? Well, I had one of my buddies. He kept telling me that's actually pretty good money. I used to sell on eBay, and he told me, try Amazon. That's actually the main thing that's going on right now. He kept telling me and telling me over and over, and after like five months, I decided, you know what, let me, let me give it a shot. And it's been, five years now, and it's actually pretty good. So. All right, what, what kind of items do you sell on Amazon? On Amazon, I try to sell anything that's worth making money. For example, like I usually buy iPods, or uh, again, video games, uh, systems. Um, also buy like old school, like vintage toys, like sealed, you know, like figures, action figures, stuff like that, So and they sell pretty good in there, so. Yeah, so can you tell me how you get these items? Uh, well, I usually a couple of different venues. I'll go to eBay and I'll try to see if, if I could get a deal there. If not, I'll go to the flea markets, the local flea markets. That's where I actually really go and find the good stuff, actually. And uh, I also go to Offer, Craigslist, anything basically. You know, Facebook also. Nowadays it's Facebook. Facebook is actually a pretty good um, you know, way to connect and buy stuff. Uh. Okay, so, so let's, is it difficult to find these items or? Sometimes it is, but yeah, you do have to dedicate some of your time. For example, you have to get up early in the morning if you want to go to a flea market and look for the good stuff. You have to get up at five o'clock in the morning and go, you know, six o'clock, seven o'clock, whatever. And you have to be there first in line if not, you're going to miss out. So sometimes it is, but sometimes I do get lucky and get some good stuff. So you talked about some of the websites you use to find items in it. Amazon, I mean, to sell on Amazon. What else, what other websites do you use? Uh, well, again, like I said, and I check eBay, basically everything. Nowadays, so many websites out there that I just look and look. And again, also, you know, Facebook's actually one of the top ones too to find good stuff. And sometimes I'll put an ad up saying, you know, I'm looking for old vintage sealed toys or whatever. And usually I get one or two a week from, you know, a really good collection or something. Let's talk about shipment. Is it like, is it easy? Is it hard? Is it? Well, shipment, you just gotta get the right box, the right package, and make sure it's, you know, safe, to, you know, whatever item you're shipping out, and just send it out. Either you call the post office or you could call, you know, or go yourself and drop it off. Usually I have my son, you know, drop it off every day, a couple of items, and yeah, it's so fast. Easy. It's so safe. if you get a return, does the wh why would you get a return? Once in a while you do get returns. I mean, not everything's perfect. And then once in a while you do get that one customer which 
For example, I give out a 30 day policy and that customer will use it for 29 days and then he'll take advantage of the policy and open up a case, send it back. And yeah, I have to give him his money back basically because the way Amazon works. And if you do get a return, how damaged is the test? Very item? rare, very rare for an item to be actually damaged. But once in a great bit, while I do get like an old $100 toy or something that comes back open and broken. And usually Amazon always goes for the customer no matter what on Amazon, which is pretty good, you know. And, uh, but yes, I do take a loss once in a while, but rarely, rarely. So we talked about the problems, if you have any on Amazon. Do you, did you ever have like a serious problem? Or like? Mm, not really. It was basically like I told you. And once I had a hundred dollar item, which they opened and they broke it and then they sent it back. And again, I don't know if they actually had a broken one before and just bought the new one and put the broken one in there. I'm not sure, but, but other than that, no. That's actually, it runs pretty smooth, for you, pretty good. Uh, okay, so I was gonna ask you, uh, so if you were able to go back and do a different job, would you? No, actually, um, I actually enjoy this, actually, because I only work basically two, three hours a day doing this, shipping, posting, whatever, looking for stuff. Actually, no, it's a lot of freedom with this. So I actually will keep, you know, this and actually make good enough like a regular salary like regular salary from somebody so so you talk about the items where do you storage the items that you get from um, lots i got a storage locker and that's where we usually have the stuff some of the stuff at the house but most of the stuff is at the storage you know because to make room is the storage close to you or is it far yeah it's actually pretty close it's in lions it's only five minutes away so you know it's a, and then they open from six in the morning to I believe 1030, so it's actually pretty convenient. Oh, okay, so thanks for coming. Uh, this has been People in Perspective.